Hi, Ted Frick, Classic Swing Golf School at the Legends Resort in Myrtle Beach. All right, I got a really cool southern tip for you on green reading. All right, there's going to be a couple elements here. Number one, you're going to see the system. We call it the trifecta. And then you're going to key on our grass, our Bermuda grass, those tiff eagles and tiff dwarfs and hybrid Bermudas. They have green, so we got to pick up on green. So check this out. Now understand, when it's your turn to putt, you got 40 seconds to execute your putt. This is going to take a little longer than 40 seconds on this tip because when it's my turn, I need to be behind the ball to execute the putt. But this is how I would go about doing a green read. This is what we teach in all of our schools and many of our private lessons. So check this out. Here's my ball in the 18th hole. Boom. I'm going to go ahead and mark it. I'm going to look around, observe where the other person's balls are because I don't want to walk in their line. But watch me walk and how I pace to side one. I'm going to go to the other side of the hole. I'm going to pace in yard steps. Multiply by three for feet, but I'm going to check out the grain at the hole. Check this out. So here I go. So I'm going to walk to the other side of the hole. One. So I comfortably have a 30-foot putt. And as soon as I get to that hole, I'm going to look down into the cup. And whatever side of your cup is browning out, that is the direction the grain is growing towards. We never, ever hit a putt in the south on Bermuda grass without looking down into the cup. You can clearly observe brown on one side. That's the direction the grain's growing towards. You'll get confirmation. You can even see the grass clippings kind of going over top of the lip. When this ball's slowing down is when the grain is going to affect the speed of this putt, speed or pull. Because what I'm looking at here is my ball, when it gets to the hole, it's going to be pulled to the left. All right, now check this out. I'm going to go to side one. A lot of times on side one, you could be standing here for three to four seconds because the only thing you're doing, you stand in a straight line from where you're marking your ball would be at the cup and then behind the cup. On side one, you're just trying to depict what side of the hole or which way would the ball break when it gets to the hole. So if this side of the lamb was higher and this is lower confirmation this is going to be my low side here's the cool thing on this putt if you didn't read grain you would see this putt as a straight putt and that's why grain is so key grain can slow the ball down grain can speed the ball up but grain can pull the ball left and right please get grain from this tip all right so i'm going to go with i see this is a really straight putt 30 feet but the grain's going to give me this move at the hole and you'll see it all right, so I'm going to walk to my ball and what is side two. So now I'm going to go to where I see the ball is going to break when it gets to the hole because of the grain. So I'm going this way. Every student that I've had for the last 28 years knows this talk. Every player from beginner to advanced, you get right in between the ball and the hole. Now this is where I know it's 40 seconds when it's my turn. This is where I will watch the other player's shots, their chips, their pitches, their bunker shots, their putts, and I'm going to watch what's going on with their ball at the hole here, again, for a double whammy confirmation. But this is the low side. You'll see a lot of the tour players, the boys and the girls, they'll get down and they'll take a knee on side two because this is the side that gives you the picture of the slope. This is where you might see a crown in the putt. You might see a saddle that they got to go through. You could see it being level up or down. So I'm kind of getting the grade of the speed from side two. So important. Observe many putts from side two because it's your speed side. So when it's my turn to putt, and you can see it's in the south in the summer. I got my bottle of water up here. Stay hydrated. When it's my turn to putt, I'm going to be on side three. So they hit their shots. Good shots at side three. Now my 40 seconds is up. Watch how quick this goes. I'm going to use the line on the ball the way I've been trained, using a line on the ball, set the line down, that's my line. I gotta play this line, y'all, a little bit to the right of this hole in this 30 footer downhill and at the hole, which is gonna get moving left. I'll confirm that line with my dominant eye. This is all part of green reading and aim. I'm right eye dominant, so I would close my left eye right now and only confirm that line, my line with my right eye only. I'm good to go. If you play with me in putting, I don't do practice strokes. If I was gonna do a practice stroke here, I could tell you with a 30 foot putt, 
I would use a 30 inch stroke, 15 inches back, 15 inches through, because that's what we've been taught to move it like a pendulum at a two to one ratio. All right, so here we go. So I'm coming in, covering my fundamentals. I got my A going on, I'm aiming it. I get my grip, I'm a claw guy. My posture, eyes over the ball to slightly inside. Ball position stance with, taking my putt. Watch this at the hole, look at this. There you are. That is your confirmation of the grain on this putt. Green reading. I hope that helps when you come to Myrtle Beach.